I guess everyone here has a, an involvement in making decisions that will affect people with disabilities. And the goal of the exercise is not, it's not a race, it's an experience. Participants, you'll each be starting at one of the stations with, with an assistant. Now the purpose of your assistant is to help and guide you. Uh, obviously if something horribly is going wrong with you in the wheelchair, then, then they will grab you. Uh, one of the things you need to be very mindful of in a wheelchair is if you grab the tyres in a wheelchair, you will actually burn your hands. Uh, the best way to slow yourself down in a wheelchair is your fortune, you can put your feet down. Um, but, just excuse me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Greg Howard speaking. Uh, one of the challenges you actually find is that in Denmark we have a lot of compound slopes. That means you have a slope that they will slope a compound slope. In other words, it slopes in two directions. I'll run through the, the activities as, as they go through. So one pair will start at the Civic Centre. And at the Civic Centre you've got a fairly simple task. All you need to do is go into the toilets and wash your hands. So, so this hasn't got the fleet lever that it should have. That's okay. The, the next activity, which will be the next pair, will be um, in a oh, doctor's <laughs> surgery next to the, the French bakehouse. Dr. James, I think that is. And you need to pick up a script. That's all right. Except I felt like I might want to have gone over back. Thank you. When you fill it, can you please bring it back? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Jelly beans, and I've got to take that to the pharmacy. Yes, that'd be. And where's good. the pharmacy? The pharmacy is just back at the um, near the intersection of Strickland Street. Just That's a long way from here. It is. All but right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You'll end up with big muscles. Can't be worse. Don't worry. <laughs> Bye. Now the wheel. It's too high. For, oh, sorry. Uh, just took a bit of you have to practice. Back a bit. Just so the. Right, left turn. Left turn. But I've got to come back this way anyway, so I'll go to the post office, try that ADM down there, then go to the surgery, then come back to the wards. <laughs> Gee, that was interesting. The way that lady came right to the side of me. And I was really unsure with it. Another station is you need to go to the Denmark Environment Centre and <coughs> ask for or find a managing Phytophthora dieback and bushland booklet. Just tilt back a bit. Yeah, down, yes, we've been given a help at the pamphlets. Yeah, this section. Well, I can't get through there. So that's sorry, I'll come back. Oh, it's Jean. I'll be tilted. Oh, stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it just has yeah. a multiple grade with like a curve. Yeah, but the, the, the ramp's quite steep. Yeah, and at the top of the ramp, it actually has a, a step. Yeah, and yeah. I just and and a, I just couldn't negotiate because either those things would yeah. catch. Yeah, the wheels would. And yeah, when you when you go up to it, it seems so easy. Absolutely. One of the things I did notice yeah. is I was going to change the order of this. Yeah, yeah. And these people said, "No, you've got to do it in the order." Yeah. Another station is you go into the post office. So you take your you put on a set of bubble wrap glasses, and I think Tony's got. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't leave them on for too long because they actually uh, give your eyes a bit of a workout. <laughs> but your job at, at the post office is to wheel your wheelchair into the post office. You put on a set of bubble wrap glasses before you go in. You'll then be allowed to get up out of your wheelchair and select a birthday card. Now, you are to buy that birthday card and you are to address it to either yourself or to now, you've got to, if you're going to paste it to yourself, you've got to find. Um, do you think that she is? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful as a member of the public. I think. Look, enjoy your special day. Okay. Loving wishes. They come from my heart, even though I can't see you. How much is it? Uh, it's seven dollars ninety-five. That's too much. Okay. I want a cheaper one. Okay. Yeah. These are very special ones. Okay. A wish for your birthday. How much is that one? Four dollars ninety-five. Post office box one a three. See, that's not have. I'm not having any problems doing that. Denmark. So you don't need to be able to see to write. Yes, that's yeah. I guess that's the. Sixty cents for that. Sixty cents. Yes, you will. You will. So the roads, the, the footpaths are pretty good. Yep. Pretty flat. Upstanding. Uh oh. Bloody hell. God knows what the hell I can see. Just watch out for some of the don't knock. Don't knock. How you going? Where am I going now? Right. You've got milk. You've got, you've got to find. Um, I've spent too much. I've blown the budget. Now I've got. I think that's five. I've got five, and I've got a two. I've got two twos. Nine, and you'll get some change back. I've got nine and change. Oh, please insert and remove card. I just did that. Could you do it again? I didn't get a photo of your PIN number. <laughs> That'd be right. Please insert and remove. What do you think I'm doing? Please reinsert, then remove. Okay. Give me my money.
station is to actually go into the Denmark Pharmacy uh, with the script from the doctors and actually pick up the prescription for jelly beans. Pharmacy, so that's back the other way. Jesus, yes, go this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Where am I? <laughs> And I've got to get a jelly beans in here. Yes, you've got to get your 70 grams of jelly beans. Now, I'm going to try and go up forwards. Oh, yeah, whoa. Did you my script. Thank you very much. Do you have a concession? No. <laughs> I'm wounded by my wheelchair. Are you? It happens. Do you want to fix some more stuff? Uh, no, nah, I'll, I'll survive. Hang on, let's Give it a script back because I suspect other. I'll just put a dressing on you. Thank you very much. Oh, I get looked after. You too. Service here. Oh, he's going to do it. Much butt, too. There you are. Does that okay. feel better now? Well, today's gone really well. Um, participants really were, were good sportsmen. Uh, they really put in their best to um, undertake the challenge and to experience what it was like to. Um, walk a mile in the shoes of someone with disabilities. Yeah. Okay. Um, why? Why this idea? Why, what spurred this on or catalyst for it? Um, the catalyst for it is that one of the things that um, authorities and, and people that provide infrastructure often do is they have a project and then at the very end of the project they then think about how they're going to bolt in universal access. Whereas good universal access you don't even notice that it's there, it's just part of the project and you actually find that a building or a playground or a bridge or a footpath or a parking bay is just easy to use. And so we figured if key decision makers have had experience of um, accessing a CBD area in a wheelchair and, and, and high profile businesses, then they'll just be far more aware of, of disability access and visual impairment issues uh, when they're looking at projects. So they'll actually ask people proposing those projects, have you thought about universal access from the inception of the project? Yep. The, the idea of the activities is they, they were activities that a disabled person would face as part of their normal daily life living in Denmark. And so that's one of the reasons why Australia Post is, was chosen. We have an excellent Australia Post office. And in a country town, an Australia Post office is a hub for a number of uh, that a person with disability can't avoid going to Australia Post. We selected our award-winning Denmark bakery, and as well as our pharmacist and a doctor's surgery and also the Denmark Environment Centre which is a major point of community engagement for a lot of people in Denmark.